UF11, you are on Intellian TV. We're here with uh, Simon Phipps, the director of the famous open source initiative. Welcome, Simon. Thank you very much. We're honored to have you here. So uh, could you tell us a bit more for the audience who doesn't know uh, about what open source initiative is? I can do that. So uh, the open source initiative, that's OSI, uh, was formed in 1998, 1999 to uh, be the steward of the term open source and to promote the use of open source software and to promote unity amongst the open source community. Uh, our main role for the last 10 years has been to protect the open source definition and to approve licenses as true open source licenses. So we maintain a list of open source licenses at opensource.org. That is the canonical list of open source approved licenses that are, that are known to protect your software freedom. So, I mean, uh, considering how open source has uh, where it has come so far, uh, you have definitely succeeded in protecting that, but I'm sure you've, had, you've gone through a lot of challenges through. Could you name a few challenges and as well as successes right. along the way? Well, the, 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 the progress has been a gradient. Uh, so a conference in the US this year described the, the story of open source as the journey from disruption to default. So in 1998, we were a disruptive influence uh, trying to bring the idea of open source to the world. Uh, uh, rather upsetting to the folk who had done great work for the 15 years before defining free software. Uh, definitely very upsetting to the big corporations who had decided that open source was going to take away their business. But over that 10 years we've seen almost every large corporation around the world embrace open source as a part of their business model. Not just something they live with, but actually something that they make money from. And I believe that that is our greatest success, is to move to becoming from uh, a, a place where we were disruptive, and we were those, uh, those uh, uh, nuisance people who wanted to break everything, changing to a world in 2011 where open source is the default, where any business that does not have an open source strategy had better have a good explanation of why not. Great, and uh, what, what is next for Open Source Initiative? What are you guys doing right now? Well, uh, OSI has just been a 10-person board of directors since it was founded, uh, because its main role was to protect the term open source, to avoid what's called regulatory capture, where people are able to come in and take the rules over and use them to defeat the original purpose of the term. So OSI has been a very small group of people up until now. But as we've seen open source become the default software model in the software industry, we've decided we should move to a membership model. So I'm announcing here at Open World Forum that OSI is going to become a member organization. And I'm uh, inviting uh, non-profit organizations, first of all, to come and uh, speak to me and to sign up as uh, open source initiative affiliates. OSI affiliates. So you're going to be here today and tomorrow all day. So, so I'm here at Open World Forum to uh, talk with the leaders of any nonprofit which is devoted to open source to become OSI affiliates. Or they can contact me by email if they're watching the video later. My email is webmink, W-E-B-M-I-N-K, at opensource.org. Yeah, and we'll caption the, the email too. So whoever uh, wants to become an uh, OSI affiliate, please uh, contact uh, Simon. He's going to be at OWF t today and tomorrow all day. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Simon, for being with us. Hope you're, en you're going to enjoy the rest of OWF. Thank you. It's a great pleasure. See you soon on uh, Italian TV, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>